It is finally happy birthday GST. India has created history. So how does India's biggest tax reform in a decade affect you? Do you have reason to smile? Is life going to burn less of a hole in your pocket? Well, here's what you need to know. The implementation of GST is likely to reduce taxes on manufactured goods but increase taxes on services. Now, we pay anything between 20 to 30% tax on manufacturing goods. That will come down to 18%, assuming that 18% is set as the GST rate. But services, which are currently at 14%, will go up to 18%. Hence, services will cost more. Let's get down to the specifics. Made in India, Maruti, Hero, Mahindra and Bajaj are likely to become cheaper, but your SUV, life and health insurance will cost more. Watches, appliances and phones will cost less, but your phone bills will go up. Essential services like banking, telecom and IT will also cost more. Credit card bills will go up. Movie tickets will become cheaper, but eating out and cultural programs will become costlier. Alcohol and tobacco will also cost more. Textile and jewellery will become costlier. Travelling costs will go up. Rail and air travel will burn the biggest hole in your pocket. The cost of rail and air tickets will go up by anything between 1-2%. to Logistics cost will come down, so cement will become cheaper. So it is good news for Pan-India players like Ambuja, Ultratech and ACC. While Indian developers are optimistic, the impact on real estate will really depend on what the final GST rate is. The math is simple. GST will be inflationary initially, but the extent would really depend upon GST rates that the centre and states agree upon. The GDP impact will kick in in about 12 to 18 months after GST goes live. GST is expected to usher in the much-awaited Achhe Din, but we'll only know by 2018-19.